Good. Let's record September's uh, uh, trades and see how did September go. Like we were still looking over here in August. Uh, like I said, over here it came back and it took us finally out of this trade over here. For September, the very first signal came up. We're on the wrong candle here, that's for sure. Uh, delete the Fibonacci there. And let's take this one there. That's our first trade. Our first trade is this one over here. Let's just bring that down so I can get all of the Fibonacci's. And it's over here. There it is. Bring it down to the three. Righto. Our first signal was over here on the 11th of September. We placed our buy order again on the high. Stop on the low. And of course you take profit on the three risk. As you can see, the trade opened up over here. So we actually opened up higher than what our uh, entry was. Okay. It came down, came down, came down. We did not get a close above the 161 to be able to close our profits in. It came down and we were eventually taken out of the trade. All these signals here, we would not have taken because we were still stuck in that trade over there. Yeah, we came with the next trade, the next signal. Let's go and have a look at it. The next signal was over here, right? On this candle over here was our next signal. We were entered in. Stop buy over here. Stop loss down there. Didn't take righto down to there. And of course our target over there. We were entered in over here on this candle. It didn't make the 161. It turned around and in October we were taken out of this trade over here. That gives us two losses once again on the FTSE. Uh, this Brexit deal is really, really not working. Eh? Uh, anyhow, let's go and look at the uh, XPX for August. That was August. Let's move up to the September. Where was the end of September? All right, somewhere around there. Righto. We eventually got a signal over here in uh, September. What was it? The 11th of September. Again. Drew my Fibonacci's in, buy order on the high, stop on the low, on the low, and of course the target up there on the three. Let's just take it back up again. We were entered because it opened up, the market opened up over there, above our entry, so we were entered into the market over there. And again, it just came straight back over here, and let's just go and see over there. It's not exactly rocket science, but anyhow, it closed virtually on the 161. At that point, I would have most probably have locked my put my stop loss on the 161. And it came down straight away and took us out of the trade uh, for a zero loss trade. Uh, yeah, it's bad in three months you get one trade and it goes out in a zero loss. But anyhow, better on zero loss than in a full stop loss. Now, with that, uh, these, like I said, these daily trades are quite nice. Uh, I like them. They are very good. And of course, uh, they do deliver good profits in the long run. Let's go look at the uh, recovery again. The recovery trade is on the uh, Ichimoku breakouts. And of course, looking at the Ichimoku breakout along with the channel. So with that said, uh, I will start the uh, backtest. And as soon as the backtest is finished running, I will be back with you. See you in a moment. Great. <coughs> Back again, the uh, recovery uh, EA has done its thing here yeah, for uh, up to the end of September. And as we can see over here on the 13th of September was the close of the last run. Uh, the run thereafter, we have again got here one, two, three, four, five, six losses. And this trade is not yet closed out, so we don't know what's going to happen over here. But let's see in uh, October, where will that one end? So if we look at it, this was our last one and it brought the count up to, uh, you can say 12.45, right? So let's just go and see 12.45, it's 245 divided by a thousand. That gives us almost to say 24.5% divided by nine. It's about 2.7%, right? So it has dropped down a bit. 2.7% uh, is still okay, still acceptable. 
preferably 3%, but 2.7% is okay because of the $1,000 account. So it is running quite nicely. It's quite safe. Although we have had six, seven consecutive losses a couple of times already. I think the maximum one was uh, 10. Uh, I will do some tests on a smaller take profit. You see what happens when we reduce the take profit to 120 pips. So we will see what happens about that in a later stage. Right. Now with that uh, said, we have uh, run that test on the uh, recovery trade. Let me just close out over there. Uh, just take that out of the way and close out over there. Uh, let's jump over onto the uh, Ichimoku. Uh, once again, I will uh, pause the video and uh, we will see. I will be back with you as soon as the uh, test is finished. See you in a moment. Righto, back with the Ichimoku breakout. Uh, as we can see, I think here was the last uh, close of the last run, uh, which was on the 2nd of uh, September. Ever since then, we have been uh, running in the run. We've had two closes so far, but we have not yet closed the run. So close at this point of time, we are up $180 on the uh, $500 account. Let's just go and see over here. We said how much? Uh, 180, huh? 180 divided by 500. That gives us a 36% growth divided by the nine months. And that gives us a 4%, average of 4% growth per month, which is very nice. As I said before, if you can start compounding 4% a month on your account, you'll be surprised how much this can actually really add up to. So, with that said, uh, let's go and look at the Bollinger Bands. And uh, let's just jump right over to the Bollinger Band version 3, right over. And uh, I'll run at the uh, EA. And as soon as it is complete, I'll be back with you. See you in a moment. Right over. <coughs> back with the uh, Bollinger Band uh, EA. As we can see, we are quite lucky here. The very last trade in uh, September was the uh, end of a run uh, and it's up the account is up to 754 uh, we can say let's say that's 255 dollars up let's do the calculation <coughs> two double five divided by 500 that gives us 51 percent divided by nine that brings up to let's say five just over five and a half if we must round it up we can say let's say six percent average growth per month now as i've been saying all the way along six percent a month doesn't sound like a lot to you maybe considering that there are many guys claiming that you can make a thousand percent in a month uh, six percent is nothing but yes uh, at least the six percent of a year is sustainable uh, where i'm protecting uh, my capital as much and as far as i can and I'm always looking for ways to try and improve the accuracy of the trades. But yes, 6% a month growth. And if you start uh, compounding on it and it makes a snowball effect, you'll be surprised what it will do to your account. Unlike 1,000% a month, uh, like I said before, the only way you can up turn up uh, that kind of uh, growth is by over trading. And when you're over trading, it's just a matter of when you're going to wipe your account, but it's going to happen. It's almost guaranteed. Uh, I have not yet met anybody that has been making that type of money uh, over a long period of time. They all come here, two or three months later, they're gone, you never hear from them again. Uh, I receive many, many emails on a daily basis of systems delivering wonderful results. And then I wonder, what am I doing? Uh, and I must honestly say, Two, three months later, when you try and see if that, e, that, that EA is still in existence, uh, it's gone. The website has even disappeared. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, everybody must decide for yourself what's good for you. And if you are happy with, let's say, 2%, 3% growth a month, a steady growth over a long period of time, well, then maybe it's worthwhile looking into uh, a system similar to what I am doing. I'm not saying that my systems are the best. By no ways. 
I mean, I'm not a professional trader. I have taught myself. Uh, I've did a couple of courses, read many books, bought many things through the years. Uh, but yes, uh, I have taught myself basically how to get myself into a profitable position. Uh, it took me a very long time because I believed all the hogwash that in all the emails, so it's on the email, on the internet. And believe me if I tell you, it just doesn't work. I have met so many people and uh, yes, they've all landed up losing big time. Anyhow, uh, it's up to you how you do it and what you want to do. I mean, it's your money after all. And there's only one person that cares about your money and that's you yourself. So with that said, let's wait for October and we'll see if October delivers anything better. Uh, happy trading. See you in October.